So I made it to Little Corn Island a few days ago and I'm staying at Derek's place. I'm venturing out and I'm gonna go explore and see what there is to see. And once you're here, there's no cars. A couple people have bicycles. Commonly you'll see people pushing wheelbarrows around. They, they told me that it's a serious safety concern where coconut could fall on you. I haven't seen any tarantulas yet, but said that there was a python in his bathroom with the flashlight at nighttime. Big change for me coming from, from the prairies in Alberta is hearing the sound of the waves and the, the breeze through the trees. Now I'm starting to get a little bit freaked out. Made it past that one. I hope there's no more. Of course there will be. I just saw this mango fall out of the tree and I wish I'd have brought my pocket knife because then I'd open it up and eat it. This one's still good. Every road leads to the beach. Like there's count. Finally made it. Is this thing a mango? Is this safe to eat? Because of that poke hole? Hey, thanks. All right, so I'm gonna cut around that little poke hole. Thank you for letting me stay yeah, out of the yeah, yeah, yeah. Probably gonna rain for a few minutes and then stop. Yeah, yeah. Lobster at amazing little restaurant here. Look at this lobster here. That's what I'm having for lunch. So I just found a place where I'm gonna relax for the next little while. Overlooking the beautiful water. It's my walking tour of Little Corn Island. Place to be. Nice and quiet. Nice and breezy. Not much going on exactly. 